What's up guys? I am doing an intro for this video because this was not originally going to be a video on this channel, so I didn't film an intro for it. Uh, but my wife suggested that I go ahead and make it a video, so here we are. Uh, you'll see by the title that this is fishing related, however, not actually the way you might think it is. So I have... I've been, I would consider myself to be an avid angler for the past eight to nine years at least. Um, I bought a John boat probably six years ago or so. I had that for a couple years and then I bought the boat that you've seen, uh, the red tracker that you've seen in, in uh, past videos for the last few years. Uh, and I've also gotten into watching uh, fishing, like actually fishing tournaments. Uh, my buddy Josh, who you'll see again in this video, uh, he hooked me up, or he turned me on to this guy, this professional angler named Jacob Wheeler, um, who, like a lot of other professional anglers, has a YouTube channel where he films, you know, all the tournaments that he goes around and fishes, and then also is just filming other content for his YouTube channel. And I've watched him on and off the last four or five years and really enjoyed it. And that led me into actually watching some of the Major League Fishing's uh, Bass Pro Tour events. Which are, it's a series, the Bass Pro Tour is a series of a few different events over the course of, you know, the spring and summer every year. And Jacob Wheeler uh, has been fishing that tour since, I mean, at least 2017 or 2018 or so. And it's a really cool format to to watch. Um, it's not a standard five fish uh, bag. You call it, you know, five biggest fish you catch in a day where you then have to take them back to the ramp and the boat ramp and weigh them. Uh, there is an actual MLF official in the boat with each of the anglers and they catch, em catch the fish, immediately weigh it, and then put it right back. So it's more, it's a better way to fish, I think. Um, as far as longevity of the fishery, uh, it's better for the fish to just go right back instead of sitting in a live well all day, getting then transported in bags and weighed and all that mess. So I really like that style of tournament. It's also a lot more interesting because the anglers are all getting, like they can get real time updates about how they stand, like where they compare with everybody else they're fishing against because it's a cumulative weight total. It's not just, hey, it's your five biggest fish you catch today and you won't know if you won until the end of the day. So, super entertaining to watch. Like I said, been watching that on and off for a few years, and found out uh, a little while ago that there was going to be a, one of the events was gonna be here uh, on the James River, here uh, in Richmond, Virginia, where I live. So, had the opportunity to go to the boat ramp where that was being held um, the last couple days, uh, the knockout round day and the championship round day, and they had a big, you know, watch party there, the big, you know, festivities and event and everything there. Uh, big screen with uh, the live coverage on it and people just hanging out and watching. And then uh, the highlight of each day would be when all the anglers come back to the ramp uh, and you get the chance to meet them and get autographs and pictures and, you know, just talk to them, which is really cool for someone like me who's been watching all these guys for so long. Um, so... As you'll see, I did a decent amount of filming. Uh, again, this was this was initially just going to be like home video for myself to you know remember the the event essentially, uh, and then my wife's like, "Hey, you should just make a YouTube video out of it because people will probably think it's interesting." So here I sit making a longer than usual intro, which is how these tend to be. So without further ado, uh, I will get you to the bulk of the video, and then going to be one important, uh, we'll say announcement maybe, or thing you should stay till the end um, to see. So, here we go. I think that's how you like to
might be the only guy without a wrapped truck. Yeah, I did. I just feel like Before you put the charger back, can you use it too? I just keep it around. I like it. Not a problem at all. There's not any big ones. There's not many big ones. I never caught a big one. I can see that. Because there's not as many big ones out there. Like, than it used to be. They're hard to find, yeah. What's up, man? How are you? What's up? Hi, What's guys. up? What's up? <laughs> you got a high five? I like your hat. I like your shirt. Yeah, it's not pretty good. I know. But man, you just, some days you just have them days. Yeah. It's like, you gotta take the good with the bad. Yeah, I get it. You wanna it get was, a picture? It was a fun, a fun week. Yeah, it really was. Well, that's good. I'm definitely, I'm, I mean, it's one of my favorite pictures. It's just like, just different, a little different. Yeah. It's got a lot of nice fish in it. A little bit similar to uh, back home, huh? It is. Just, yeah, it, it definitely is. A little bit different, but it's, it's definitely. Um, there's a lot of you know, a pound and a half to two, to, you yeah. know, a pound to two and a half pounds. Yeah. Well, especially I'm, at this point in like almost July, the fishing pressure at this point is. I mean, the amount of tournaments that we've had. Yeah. So I can see that. What's normally take to win them? Uh, well, earlier in the year it could be like 25 to 30 pounds. Wow. They smash. Yeah. Yeah. 25, 30 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> the grass looks great. The chicken. Yeah. Way, up, way up the way. Yeah, you got the diversity of airhead pads and all that. Yeah, you got so many different things. That, and it's cool. Like, that's why I like it. But like even here, it's still good fishing. We were laughing because on coverage, we'll be like, oh, it looks so bassy. It's like, dude, that's all the chip. Yeah. Like, it's the whole thing. It's, it's just, just trying, trying to find Caught my first boat in there a couple weeks ago. Did oh, yeah. you? Yeah. I caught a couple of them so this week. I was it's like, nice. Oh. It's like either the gr biggest bass of my life or a bowfin. Yeah, exactly. Well, I got I got an eight twelve in the chick a couple years ago an on a square bill. Eight yeah. twelve. Yeah. On a Guggen square bill. Oh. In like five feet of water, probably. Wow, an yeah. eight twelve. Didn't have a net with me either, so I was a little nervous oh, about I it. I throw I throw all my cranks on eight pound. And I'm like, I did not want to snap this thing Dude, off. There's no <laughs> way. I you lost a good one last year. I, I lost like, a good one, yeah, right on the point like, down by uh, Dutch Gap. I the boat, and I was like, next trip, I was like, put the net close. <laughs> yeah, forget that. <laughs> forget them giant ones. You gotta, you gotta get them. Yep. Yeah, he uh, he turned me on to you like what four or five years ago, probably at this point. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. So what was it, 2021 when you guys were up in St. Lawrence? And I think it was 2021 when you caught like. Oh yeah, yeah, I caught them, them all. Like, like caught them in the cone. Yeah, like yeah, I've never yeah. seen that before. Yeah, because I'm like at work trying to count. trying to actually work and you know earn my paycheck <laughs> and also watch you. It was, That's crazy. It was so much fun. That is crazy. That so you didn't cool even you been catching big, big ones. Do you live around here? Yeah, we both live in like just south of the river, like 20, 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Yep. We That's fish. We fish the James and the Chick pretty regularly. You ever fish? Uh, what's the other one right here? Chesden. Down the right hand side of the big, 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 big farm that goes back on there. Is it Appomattox? Is it any good? Oh, we've done a little bit in Appomattox. I've, yeah, I've not it gets there's a lot of like sandbars and stuff, so oh, you got to know what, yeah, you can jack yourself on the I've yeah. I destroyed the aluminum prop that came on my boat in the Appomattox. <laughs> <laughs> I had to replace it. Okay, so don't run that. Yeah, okay, there you go. Awesome, let's get a yeah, photo. I've been wiring this river and I knew right away that every time I came here I was going to do well because I just loved it so much and uh, sure enough I'm fishing stuff that I fished 10 years ago and it's still good so hopefully tomorrow I can really put the pressure on it and, uh, and see. He's going to be celebrating a birthday tomorrow on Championship Day representing General Tire, Mr. Skeet Reeves. Thank you. James is showing himself so really well right now. Oh, I, don't, I didn't know that's 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 I'm fishing slow, finesse at the big time, just mixing it up, bunch of, uh, jumping around a whole bunch of different spots and just rotating through them. And, you know, uh, you won here in, in Invitational in, uh, I believe, 22, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, is it uh, the spots are still good? Now it's just getting the timing of those spots? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm fishing a lot of the same general areas. And, uh, you know, back then, uh, I think it was mainly kind of an incoming and a high deal. I don't remember it being this hot, 
but uh, but yeah, it, it's a little bit different, but uh, but every day is different. Yeah. Had a, had a great week, got a lot of bass. James River's alive and well. It's very healthy fishery. The fish you catch are very healthy. They're eating good. It's my first time here and I really enjoy it. Yeah, it, it can be a tricky fishery, but this place is absolutely phenomenal. This is a great fishery. It's actually the funnest fishery that we've been to all year, uh, even though it's hotter than Dickens out here. But we have absolutely well, just caught today. the daylights out of these fish. They're a lot of fun to catch. And like you can see, we just keep going back and just keep replenishing and just catch more and more and more. So it's a great fishery. You know, when, when you are fishing... Silver and Red Trophy and add another accolade and award on the Hall of Fame mantle of his career. And with 30 seconds left, we can officially, I believe, say happy birthday, Ski Greeks. Your present is a hundred thousand dollars, a silver and red trophy, and the honor of being King James for the week. Jonathan Van Dam. Oh, oh cool bass crew shot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know who Kevin Van Dam is? KBD, you heard that before? 
Yeah. Yeah. This is his son. I know that guy. Yeah, I'm writing for everybody. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was an absolute. Yeah, I went from being I got this, no problem, to like, oh crap, what's gonna happen? I'm like, I'm trying to get to this skin. Greg just got out of terror, so thank goodness I built up a big lead in early and you know, fortunately it was my junior dad it was meant to be and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that kill to you. That means a lot. It's one of those things where I just I I wasn't expecting to catch as many as I did this morning and it just I put the hammer on him about almost 30 pounds that first period. I'm like, so you're saying I got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Lebrandi, he's like, yeah, he he's watching what he's done the last few days in the morning, like, man, he's like he's keeping up for me with him. Fortunately he stopped. <laughs> um, uh, then but it just as the afternoon that, that second part of the that second period, the tide I think it was in the transition, you know, no matter where you were at up and down the river, it just wasn't a great bite. Either. Score tracker was really slow during that time. But that third period, I knew that down, further down you get to orange the chick, the lower the tide was going to be, the better the fish were going to be positioned. And guys were going to start catching them. And sure enough, it was, uh, guys started catching them. And then all of a sudden, new guys were like, boop, 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 boop. I was like, oh, 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 wow, yes, hi. Hey, can I tell you something? I just won! Woo! Yeah. Happy birthday! Yeah, you Happy did. Not birthday. only that, you won on your birthday, which I don't know has been done on the Bass Pro Tour. So this is twofold. The question is, what do you celebrate first, the win or the birthday? <laughs> I already thought about the birthday. That's just a memory, man. This is, uh, this is what I've been fishing for for the last five years out here, trying to be able to be in a position to hoist one of these Bass Pro Tour trophies to beat to beat the group of guys that we compete against, I mean, literally, this is the best group of anglers assembled uh, ever in the history of the sport. So to beat these guys, that, that means a lot to me. So just for my own personal ego check, now I'm like, I don't care what I do the rest of my life. If I if I'm gonna retire, I'll retire and I'll be over, I'll be okay. But I'm not gonna retire. Don't worry about that guy. Just <laughs> looking over here. But no, I'm like, you're not getting rid of me. Woo! So I want to thank Major League Fishing, everybody, all the staff. I want to thank all the fans for sitting out here in the rain with us and. Having Woo! a good time and watching uh, watching the live uh, episode. So yeah, just coming into the dock and having the fanfare, you just see people watching. Lift it over 40 times. You know what to do. Come over to the center of the stage, and when he hoists it up, let's make some noise for the General Tires Stage Six, presented by O'Reilly Auto Parts champion. Woo! Put your hands together for Mr. Skeet Reese in his first stage win. I'd also like to thank Henrico Parts and Recreation. So as you guys can see, that was a pretty cool uh, event to be able to go attend. Not only just being there and kind of seeing the festivities and everything, but getting to meet all the anglers uh, at the end of the day, especially the end of Championship Day on Sunday. Uh, bought a couple uh, caps, hats for myself and the girls. And we got them all signed by most of the guys in the top ten. Uh, I think we got we ended up getting seven out of the ten to, uh, of the top ten guys to get uh, to sign our hats for us, which is pretty cool. Uh, a couple of them didn't make it back in time. It was kind of storm was kind of rolling in all afternoon, and then it all just hit just out of nowhere. One of the the last guy to sign our hats was just standing there getting drenched uh dylan hayes shout out you'll never see this video but he stood there in the rain with like three or four people in front of us uh signing hats chatting with people and then he signed our hats and we walked over to the stage uh just getting absolutely drenched and it was really cool of him to do that so that's yeah that was all the fishing stuff now for the one little thing at the end that i was telling you guys about there is one particular gentleman, he's always up in my comment section, talking about how there's no pancakes in any videos, and he needs to see more pancakes. Dave, you know who you are. So, quick 30 second background on that. So I used to do World War II reenacting for a lot of my kind of younger adult life, and then uh, before I got married and had kids, and then sort of stopped doing it as much. However, still keep in touch with all of the guys, or a lot of the guys that I did that with. And there was an event one year that we went to and I we hit IHOP on the way up to the event and so I had some leftover pancakes in a to-go box in our car. 
and you know the next day or maybe the day after i honestly don't remember because it was so long ago i went back to said vehicle and ate said pancakes after they just been sitting in the car for a day or so and that sort of turned into this whole legend which spawned uh my name in among my reenacting unit which was pancake so pancakes become sort of a running joke for me and the guys that i did reenacting with and uh, at the same event, several years later, I was actually presented with a package as a gift from the guys, which you can see here in this picture that I dug up out of the old archives. And that is something that I never got rid of. I still have that same box. And just in case you don't believe me, it is actually a box of Hungry Jack pancake mix that I couldn't bring myself to eat because I don't know I'm sentimental like that so still have ye old pancake mix but I'm sick and tired of Dave always yelling about how there's no pancakes in every video so Dave just for you I got this little pancake magnet now I'm not saying it's gonna be in every video but in every single video going forward there will be a pancake of some sort in every video it may be this magnet it may be a box of pancake mix sitting on a shelf. It may be real pancakes from time to time. But you're going to have to look for it because I'm not going to make it obvious. But there's going to be pancakes. Some fashion or another, there will be pancakes in every video. So look for it. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I really had fun attending the Major League Fishing event, obviously. Uh, despite the fact that it was hot as crap, as you heard a couple of the guys say, it was well over 100 degrees on Saturday. We were drinking water like crazy, trying to stay hydrated out there. So I appreciate you guys watching this far. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff if you want to. And I'll see you guys on the next one.